in this question the network has jet parameter this if the transformer used is ideal okay uh, then the power delivered to the 1 ohm register we need to calculate the power delivered to 1 ohm register so let us first replace this network by its equivalent two port network and uh, by replacing this its uh, equivalent two port network here z11 that is 4 ohm resistance then a dependent uh, source and that dependent source comes out as this 8 i2 and uh, then here again z22 z22 is this resistance uh, 3 and then a dependent uh, voltage source and this dependent uh, voltage source is 1 into I1 I1 and this is connected like this. Now this uh, 3 ratio 1, so we can calculate the reflected resistance of this across this side. So R equivalent is equal to Turner ratio 3 square into 1 that is equal to 9 ohm. So R equivalent can be represented like 9 ohm at this site. Now we have a uh, certain equations uh, if it is loop 1 and it is loop 2 then in loop uh, uh, loop 2 can be in the current direction like this. So in loop 1 we can write as V1 that is 20 volt is equal to this 4 into I1 plus this uh, this is equal to 4 into I2 equation number 1 and here we can write it uh, as uh, this I2 3 into I2 KVL in loop 2 3 into I2 plus I1 and current is entering like this so plus minus plus 9 I2 is equal to 0. I am solving the relation between I1 and I2 is I1 is equal to minus 12 I2. Uh, so, by putting this value we can get the value of I1 and I2. So, from equation 1 if we put the value of I1, so 20 is equal to 4 into minus 12 I2 plus 4 I2. So, on solving this I2 is equal to minus 0.5 ampere and uh, I1 will be equal to uh, plus 6 ampere. Now we have to calcul have calculated this I1 and I2. So let us have a look on the transformer in transformer uh, this is transformer this turn ratio and the resistance is this. This resistance is uh, 1 ohm and the current flowing here is uh, uh, I2 we have assumed this side so minus 0.5 so this side it is 0.5 ampere and uh, suppose this current is I3. Uh, need to calculate current I3 so that we can calculate power deliver. So I3 divided by uh, I2 that is 0.5. I secondary divided by I primary A is equal to uh, 1 by n so 1 by 3 so from this uh, we will uh, uh, no we have relations uh, like this uh, one second uh, i we have relations uh, i primary divided by i secondary and this will be equal to turn ratio turn ratio is given 3 ratio 1 so it will become 1 by 3 so i secondary is equal to 3 into i primary and i primary we have calculated 0.5 so 3 into 0.5 is equal to 1.5 ampere now power delivered in 1 ohm resistance so power delivered in 1 ohm resistance p1 ohm is equal to i3 square into 1 that is 1.5 square into 1 so this will be equal to 2.25 watts so 2.25 watt is given in option b so our choice for this question is option b